She's the okay. nicest lady. Yes. Love her. Yes. This Has a good. Fall to order. <laughs> it's a meeting of the Darien 2020 Bicentennial Committee. Um, Wednesday, February 12th at 11 o'clock, room 206. Uh, call to order. So welcome everybody. Thank you for attending. We are being televised. Um, it is broadcast and it will be saved. Um, so everybody note that. Uh, we do not have a quorum. We're one short of a quorum, so we can't approve the minutes. I think um, there will be some people coming in late, so we may have a quorum later on. Um, so we'll see on that. Uh, the next order of business is the finance. Oh, one thing. Uh, there's a meeting here um, at 12 o'clock, another committee. So we really want to expedite things and get out of here about 11.45 or so, so okay. they can set up another. Um, so the next order of business is the finances and contributions. Um, Libby, do you want to talk a little bit about um, that? And then uh, I'm yeah, going to talk about the opening things, ceremony. One note is that we've pretty much um, expended all the money that was given to us by the town. So now we're working on donation money, which is fine. We're in good shape. Um, we have from sponsors that I, we have $18,500 in checks that I've received, plus an additional 8,500 that I know about. And apparently there's another sponsor, that, Baywater, that I don't know about right. that. So um, that I'm familiar is 27,000 in sponsorships, which right. is good. That's, That's great. Nice. Plus another um, 9,900 dollars from individual donors, mm -hmm. and there's some more checks in the office. So I don't know how much that is, but yep. So the total is probably um, about 52,000 right now from the raised from donors. Does that include the town? Yes, that does include the town. Yep. Yeah. And what are our total money? expenditure plans? Um, it I'm was not familiar with the correct. individual budget. Okay. It was $75,000 uh, so without the $5,000. Yeah, but short. I'll uh, address that. I uh, think is that um, aside from the um, Heritage Trail? Correct. So, right, so the okay. Heritage so Trail is all thing. paid for. Okay. Um, the Darien Foundation came up with thirty thousand, right. more than $30,000 oh, for that. That was not in the 75 so with 75, mm -hmm. that does not include the 5,000 that was originally given to us for the town. But okay. I think, think we're in a good shape. Okay. So we made the budgets before the seven, because uh, $5,000 was allotted to us in the previous right. year or whatever. Yep. So I think we're in good shape and um, that's excellent news. Mm -hmm. um, I know we wanna, now that the opening ceremony is finished, I'm gonna address the, in this meeting the finances of the opening ceremony. So we did estimates for the opening ceremony at $5,000. Okay. Um, and that includes, uh, and I'm not gonna give every amount, but it includes a shuttle bus that we were thinking of shuttling people to the historical society for an after event, uh, which we didn't need. It included a speaker fee, um, which we didn't need. Um, so Scott Pelley was, uh, gave that for free. Um, it included the police coverage, uh, which we had two policemen there. It included programs, a thousand dollars. There was a lot less than that. It included refreshments, which um, the Darien Historical Society and the Arts Center um, they covered that uh, through the ticket sale. Decorations it included, and uh, League of Women Voters and Kate was um, they came up with the bunting and everything, so that was free. It included a video and a slideshow. The slideshow was done by uh, Letha Torren and Kathleen Millard and Maggie. Um, so that was done gratis. That was a big savings. Um, we didn't do a video, but we did have a photographer. Um, so that was less than the slideshow, and the, so that was good. It included a miscellaneous of $1,000 as well. So the total of that was $5,000. Um, the stuff we actually paid, uh, and we did all the invoices, Libby. Um, yes, we have no more invoices out, this morning, and so. we have no more invoices outstanding. Um, so mm -hmm. we there was twenty two dollars and fifty cents for a poster that we did. We went to different stores and Palmer's and the train station, put up a poster. The program uh, we voted that was five hundred and forty two dollars. The photographer we had voted that. Um, at 450, that came up to 375 dollars. The Darien Police was 561 dollars and 44 cents. 
Um, we had audiovisual Jeff DeMeo that turned out to be two thousand two hundred dollars and sixty five. I'm sorry, two thousand two hundred and sixty five dollars. Um, and that total was three thousand seven hundred and sixty five dollars and ninety four cents. So that is one thousand two hundred and thirty four dollars less than what was budgeted. But you also had the ads. The Hearst. Correct. Yep. So um, for the, and I'll address that in a second. Okay. Hi, Lori. So now we do have a quorum. <laughs> so Lori, I'm going to give you an agenda and a copy of the minutes if you could look it over and then we can vote on. Okay. Hey, there's a copy of the minutes. Oh, you just need to. Yeah, there's the minutes. I thought I had mine. And we got Kate. Yeah. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, we do have a quorum. Hi, Sarah. Sarah, do you have a copy of the minutes? There we go. I'm going to next to you. Oh, great. Okay. I'll clean all this stuff off. What? That's okay. So now we do have a quorum. We will vote on the minutes in a little while. So uh, for Lori and Sarah, uh, we're going over the charges. Um, maybe we should recapitulate because this is important, Libby. If you could uh, just go over what you said before, the total of the oh, charges. Oh, yes. Um, what I was saying before was that um, we have now expended all the um, $15,000 that was um, given to us by the town. Okay. So we're now working on our donations. Okay. Which, okay. Um, which is fine. We have about, um, what did I say? It was, we have about $27,000 and a little bit more committed from sponsors. Okay. And we've raised about $9,900 from the individual donors. So um, I guess just without the town money, that came to about twenty thousand five hundred dollars from donors and, and individual wow. um, individuals giving in. And apparently, there's some more. Yeah, and then we have. Wait, wait, wait. Hmm? You said twenty-seven well? and yeah. nine. Does the twenty-seven count the ten, the fifteen from the town? No. Did you say nine nine hundred from individual nine donors? Yeah, from, yeah. Oh, okay, so wait a minute. Spot. No. Okay. Now it's twenty seven about twenty seven thousand dollars from sponsors. Plus another ninety nine hundred. Nine thousand, almost nine thousand. Almost ten thousand, yep. Yeah. Right. From individuals. So that's about thirty yeah. About thirty seven. Thirty seven. We may and not have all the sponsors. We right. I, there's not, one sponsor out there I don't know about. Yeah, we so. may not be up to date on that. Um, and then so that's thirty seven plus the fifteen. Is about fifty-three. Fifty-three thousand dollars. Fifty-three thousand. Yeah. So that's a big credit to everybody on the sponsorship mm -hmm. and everybody here and everybody who donated individually and also the town. Thank you all. So Thanks everybody. All the sponsors paid. No. So no. All no. One. Absolutely. But no. That, does, no. that includes. All paid. No. 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 I know about three outstanding checks, and apparently yeah. there's another one from Baywater yes. that I don't know about. Yeah. It takes we're, a we're, we're working on that. So um, okay. we can talk offline, but yes. you know, I, I sometimes have had to invoice sponsors. Like they're mm -hmm. like, "I'll sponsor," and so we can. Yeah, talk about we need that to talk sometime. about who's okay. yeah. sort of responsibility I'm it would kind be of to the follow messenger up to Baywater, so I'll, I can connect yeah. with you. Right. Yeah, we and I <laughs> talked to somebody at Hollow Tree yeah. through the Let's talk offline chamber. about that. Yeah. Okay, we can invoice it. And, Fine. Uh, okay. We do have a comment. Okay, so what we went down was to uh, talk about the opening ceremony, the finance for the opening ceremony. I went down a list of what we had estimated. The estimates were $5,000. Um, a lot of this stuff uh, was done gratis. For example, the slideshow uh, was done gratis. The refreshments was uh, done from the Historical Society and the Arts Center. Um, the programs came up a lot less. The speaker fee, um, Scott donated his time free. $5,000 was the estimates. The actuals were, um, we did a poster for $22.50. A program was $542. The photographer was $375. Darien Police was $561.44. And Jeff DeMeo for the AV stuff was $2,265. That we did not estimate because we thought, um, we weren't sure what the venue was gonna be and we weren't 
didn't know that you really, really needed. Um, they couldn't do the projection. He, he had to construct a screen and everything to do a backward projection. So it was money well spent. So the actuals was $3,765.94. So we came in less than we estimated by $1,234, which is very, very good. Something Libby brought up, which I will address now, was that we also paid um, advertisements in the Darien Times. Um, those advertisements was $1,330. So we estimated. You're good. Yeah, your estimates yeah. right over there. Good. We estimated um, the opening ceremony. Then we estimated another chunk of money for advertisements, <coughs> publicity, <coughs> banners, all sorts of stuff like that. So Libby, the the so money that, that we out of right. Okay. So that goes in that other okay. pot of money. Okay. That other pot of money was estimated at thirteen thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. Year? For the whole year. How much have we spent with that now? So far, we spent one thousand eight hundred and forty dollars and seven cents. So we'll it's only like ten percent. What that is? What? Which ones those are? So those are the banner that we did for the opening ceremony. That's going to travel at every event. Oh, right. oh okay. Right. Okay. So that was so one hundred nine dollars and fifty-four dollars. Um, Jamie Pavlanis, who is a graphic uh, designer who's doing a great job. I want to shout out to her. She billed us for August and November at $100. I know. It's, and we should really, I'm going to email her and say, do another invoice because she really worked very hard. A lot of last minute stuff and in December and January. So we will get another invoice She's for that. Amazing. Yeah. amazing. Yeah. The envelopes that Lori did um, that we're doing on thank you letters and other stuff is $353, $300.53. And the opening ceremony is $1,330 for the Darien Times app. And that comes up to $1,800, $1,840.07. Over an estimate for the entire year of $13,250. So we're very good stand by that. So long story short, we came up less than the estimates for the opening ceremony by $1,234. And um, we're well below so far our estimates for all the publicity, banners, advertisements, stuff like that, which is very good. So we need we need best publicity from last year. Does that get separated out, or is did you get publicity for your event last year? So is that now under this budget, or the publicity for that event? So it's going to be a little tricky figuring this all out, but my thought would be anything that I've done in the past, I will continue to do. It would just be above and beyond. Like, I don't do ads in the Darien time. So if we want to do something like that, it would come out of that okay, budget. Yeah. Okay. So there's a note a lot of overlap, uh, Jamie and I. Yeah, we met. <laughs> so that, that's good news, I think, financially. Uh, one other thing I want to say financially is um, we estimated the birthday cake to be $1,500. It's free. We have to buy some brackets to push and pull it, but essentially it's free. So uh, we're doing good. Um, and thanks everybody who donated their time and expense for the opening ceremony. And with that, um, talking about banners and publicity and advertisements, blah, 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 I want to hand it over to Susan Marks, who's got a couple of things to okay. talk about. I'm going to get a picture. So the first thing is, um, We've had a few people contact us that want to know if we have a traveling, I won't even call it a banner, but something that they can use. For example, the Tokenique School is having an art show in April, and they want to you know, incorporate something about the birthday. So um, at the DCA, which Kate won't remember very clearly, they have a pull-up. It's actually nine feet tall. And we don't have to get it, but it actually pulls up like an old-fashioned screen. Mm -hmm. um, it's oh, roughly $150, give or take. So um, this is just a picture yeah. of that. So if we, if you guys say that it's okay, we could, and it yeah. folds right back down into a very small box, 
Um, it's it's durable, you but something like that. Oh. Yeah, it's I mean, we do some repeat. We have them at the community fund, and you just yeah, yeah, I love it. Yeah, it's got oh, it's so it's um, like a trade show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I think it might be worth yeah, buying one or two of them. Um, it won't be that much money. Um, I don't have an exact Sorry. quote, but you know, under under. They're definitely under 200 a piece, if not closer to 150. Um, but I didn't want to go through and contact. I think you could get it for less, too, if you if you Google. And right. I mean, Google it comes around. with the, the screen. You know, it comes. Yeah. Do any of our local chamber members do that kind of stuff? Does, like, well, tell printing can do it, but you know, I order um, a lot of my banners from uh, banners on the cheap. Well, because also, it's so <laughs> it's, so, nice. it's <laughs> so affordable, yeah. and my signage, and I always order when it's you know a special. There's always got some free shipping, fifty percent off, forty yeah. percent off. Yeah. So if you guys allow me to pursue that, uh -huh. yeah. So move, that's a great idea. Yeah. to do that. So <laughs> move it, and do we have a second? Second, I second that. Everybody in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed, say no. So should I look Any into? Any abstentions? <laughs> no, but I would suggest our hundred dollar genie. Just continue looking at that. Ask her. Absolutely. I won't get too complicated, but maybe she's she's just got such a good visual. Eye. Yeah, she's happy she's to design it for you. Do okay. a quick design, not too complicated. Okay. But just okay. okay. That's really good. So that's the first and the so second. So moved. Uh, and am I, should I get one or two? Uh, I think we need two. Fair is fair. I mean, also we could have two two well, organizations. I think, I think one should memorial. one should stay up at town hall. That's what I was thinking downstairs. Yeah, that's a good idea. One down downstairs. Well, everybody's coming in for their beach oh, permits it. and their okay. boat permits not, and their dogs. I'm not, um, stepping on your toes. Near the case because that way it kind of draws you to the case to see both sides. That's a great idea because you could use them at the beach party anyhow. Yeah. Okay. You can use them at a million things. Two because um, that will be part of the press release for um, okay. how the community nonprofits okay. can be involved. Okay. And yeah, we'll have that. So that's the first thing. The second thing, um, I got a phone call um, from someone in town who definitely wants to pursue small flags um, that would go where the American flags are right now on the lampposts. And um, but it would just be it would just be the logo. It wouldn't be sponsorships. It wouldn't have business names on it. Literally just the flag. And different people have, a t have approached. Jamie Stevenson to say, can we do something like this? So this one particular individual is happy to pursue it and get the funding all on their own. It wouldn't. Wow. Um, That's but nice. I didn't want to tell that person to pursue anything until I had the blessing of all of you. So it would most likely be the same size as the American flags are right now. Might be a, a little bit bigger, um, but I didn't want to. You know, they're waiting for our okay. So. I don't know if it's going to be every single yeah. one, or it could just be. I think it depends on the price of all of so them. Is this an individual or a business? Um, I, I'm not 100 percent sure which direction they're going in. Because if it's a business, then they'd be, and they're going to figure. I, we just have to be careful with this logo of where you know who uses the logo and that kind of stuff. I don't think so they even want any credit for the fact that they're doing this. Okay. Okay, Sarah. Um. We, in, in past, we talked about it, and I right. actually just spoke to somebody we can talk offline, but um, I know they were talking about changing the size of the flags that are currently flying. So, you mean we regardless of what, whatever we do, they were just thinking of changing the size? Right, the whole okay. mechanism. So, we'll oh. talk okay. afterwards okay. because that's where I stopped with the conversation right. was they were trying yeah. to figure out Absolutely. which way they're flying and do they fly into the street or sideways, and then it's a matter of size. Oh, so we'll talk. Hopefully. I think it's a great idea, though. I mean, I don't I think it's a neat step idea. on the sponsors, but if someone's going to, I mean, we are a group of people that everyone's kind of stretched with six hats on. So if someone's going to just take that and do it, and that would be a great thing for the town, um, as long as they're not, I think Lori has a point, like as long as, you know, if they're a car dealership, suddenly it's not on every their car. Maybe it would be, because maybe it would cost the amount of a sponsorship. I don't know. but. Um, I don't care as long as it, if it does pass the amount of sponsorship, then they want to be. Then we should make sure okay. we know that they're a sponsor. Yeah, so yeah. I'll, work, I'll work with this and yeah, individual <laughs> and then report back. Yeah, but I yeah. again, I, I would see. imagine it would be close to at least one of our sponsor levels. Yeah. So yeah. then but we could, and they could either be anonymous or not. But I think that's amazing. I okay, it's yeah. very yeah. nice idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. happy to do that. No. No. Do um, would we have to go through the beautification committee? 
I don't know. No, I don't think so because um, the American flags went through the first went through the board of selectmen. So we might have to go okay. through the board of selectmen, but I don't think that's an issue at all. I mean, I, I don't want to speak for separate, them. Well, they're two separate um, apparatuses for hanging. Right, but I think. Um, so beautification does the baskets, right? Right, right. I mean, we wouldn't interfere with the hang baskets. Off the arms and then. The right. flags are already there. I think I think we just use what's already there, right. or or uh, I'll look into okay. that and make sure if, if we do need to go to one or the other that we follow. I'll follow through with all of that. So Susan, um, thanks for volunteering. <laughs> yeah, <that's good. laughs> um, you'll follow through, like you said, yep. with you whatever government soon. agency we have to go yep. through and yep. um, whoever you're working with to fund it and everything. Okay. Do we Great. have to move that? For the approval, just so that Susan doesn't have to wait. I think so, so, yeah. Um, is there a, a motion yes. to approve? Motion to approve. Second. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, nay. Any abstentions? So the vote is to uh, look into having our logo uh, in lieu of the flags for in the town, for all the town locations. Okay, so that covers it for finances. Um, I think we have a couple of new sponsors that I want to do a shout out to. Uh, one is Neil Hawk Architects uh, Limited. Um, they're coming in at a silver, 2,500. So thank you, Neil Hawk Architects. And also, um, William uh, Riley's uh, real estate is coming in as a gold, $5,000. I'm sorry. Uh, greatest greatest. 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 Yep. William Reyes, uh, real estate. And I'd like to say, if I might add, right. that Jamie spoke at a chamber event, and it's because um, that person at William Reyes heard Jamie speak Just and promote yes. sponsorship. Oh, okay. Oh, oh fantastic. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you. Um, Absolutely. Thank you. Well, thank you for yeah. highlighting that I could stand in the corner, and he came right up to me. And oh, my God. Yeah, he right. was really, yes. Yeah. So actually, we had a meeting. Um, Networking works. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, you guys did an amazing Thank job. Susan. We had yeah, a meeting you, on uh, the Weed Beach Festival and uh, Deirdre McGovern, uh, who works um, for them, and also Michael Dean, who's a branch manager, showed up. And we thank them very much. And Deirdre is going to be a volunteer for okay. working on the Weed Beach Festival. Fantastic. So, yeah, that's very good. She's very got good. a big following on social media, <coughs> too. Yes. So. Okay, so that, um, anything else on sponsorship, Lori? No, I guess, are we, are we jumping down to nine? Okay. Yeah, as long as we're on finances. How much of my foot on the pedal should I be having at this point? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, should I be going out and still full speed trying to get more, or are we I don't want to take your foot off the pedal, um, but I feel can very I comfortable. Can a little bit? Yeah, you can lighten up a little bit. Absolutely, because I feel very comfortable right now. I mean, I think I just discussed where we are, and Libby discussed how much we're getting. Um, and these it's new more sponsors aren't in that, right? Um, I'm not the, um, in the in the figures I was talking about, yeah. William, William Revis's. Oh, okay. And the excess, uh, remind me, please, about the the, ex excess? the excess funds oh, if we had them, them are going to go. It to goes to the town. town. I would assume that. We would There's give a recommendation general. where to put it. I, I don't think we could always give a recommendation. It goes into the general fund. It goes, to yeah, the, it goes into the that's general a tricky fund. thing. Yeah. So do we have a target goal of like how much more we think we need to raise? Yeah, in order to right yeah. right now. I, I think we need to maybe go back over the remaining events yeah. and so, tweak the numbers a yeah. little bit. And yeah, then we, we just... Right. So a lot of the things uh, we estimated, you know, we're more than two-thirds um, what we originally estimated, but our estimates were really high. For example, our estimates for um, the anniversary day was about, uh, anniversary day was $11,000, and we're getting estimates now on the 10th, which is a lot less than what we had anticipated. We're getting estimates on the, we got estimates on the program, which is a lot less. I don't plan to spend even half of the eleven thousand dollars on that. Um, have, Heritage Day was. Yeah, I'm gonna go get more money. I can't remember. No. I was just gonna say we have to be prepared though for contingencies. Absolutely. You know, like yes. Jack the Mayo, which you yeah. did a fantastic job, and right. um, you wouldn't want to have skimped on that. But we weren't right. in a position to 
estimate that piece, so we were able to still. I think it's a good that. point. Yeah. I mean, so, like I say, um, I don't want to uh, take your foot completely off the gas, right. um, but you could probably ease up a little. You know, I feel very, very comfortable. A lot of these estimates, like I say, were high, but right now we're estimating the birthday batch, which we estimated at 13,500. We're estimating anniversary day, which is 11,500. Until I get all my estimates in, I don't want to um, yeah. take the foot off okay. the gas. Okay? Yep. Um, so when some of these things are. I, mean, I think the bulk of them are in by now. Yes. There may be some new wave of excitement right. once the PR starts happening about. No. That, well, that will potentially happen. But. Yeah. yeah, well, first of all, when the, someone may call after um, they get the Parks and Rec brochure, someone may call. As we get closer to, mm -hmm. yeah, but I feel yeah, like we see everyone was in the group. Yeah, yeah. I want to be part uh, of the group. Individual donations still coming in? Yeah, yeah. Some we're getting a lot. Awesome. That's what really add up. Yeah. And we got 10,000. If you promote it, when, yeah. you can get it. Yeah. That's great. Which okay. Is, I mean, I, I pleasantly surprised because I thought there would be like a little mm -hmm. wave after the event. But, you know, so I got some more last week. I got some more this week. Great. You know, I don't know. You know, yeah, so pile at the end of the, you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's Where are we on our agenda? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 So um, next, I think if, if there's anything else on finances and contributions and sponsorship, uh, we'll move into the events. Thank you everybody for the opening ceremony. I think it was. Um, just uh, don't forget we need to approve the minutes too. I just want to run out of time. Yes, um, is everybody? I move to approve the minutes. I'll second. Second. Everybody uh, in favor say aye. Aye. Anybody opposed say nay. Any abstentions? Well, I didn't abstain if I wasn't here. Yeah, you should. Sure. Yeah. Yes. So, I so one abstention. Um, they, they were approved. Um, thank everybody, especially Chris Andrade of the Tudor Singers and um, uh, Grant Evans for the Boy Scouts and all the um, ushers and everything we had from the students and Sarah for getting the ushers that volunteered their time and everybody on the committee. Um, it was a great, great big, 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 big success. They really did a great job. It was they a great did a fantastic night. job. Great it night. really was. It was very special. Was there a person that was more zone with their category? That's I'm next. Sorry. Sorry. Yes. Uh, <laughs> next is anniversary day. Um, we did have a meeting on this. Um, the programs, uh, we're going to put, put 200 programs. Uh, they came up at $148. Um, we estimated more than that. We estimated $750. So I'm going to, um, hopefully there's a motion to vote. I'm going to say $200. It's less than, it's more than the estimate, but you never know, is to approve, uh, to print the programs for the anniversary day. I'll make a motion. Make it, I'll every, second. Everybody approve, say aye. Aye. Any abstentions? Any no, nay? <laughs> any abstentions? Unanimously approved. Um, the tent and fist 50 chairs, we had already voted on that for $400, I think. We estimated that actually on um, from what the We Beach Festival, we used their estimate, which was a few thousand dollars, so that's a lot less. So like I say, as these estimates come in, uh, we're going to readjust our overall estimate and we'll get a better um, standing on exactly where we are. Um, but that was a good stuff. We're going to invite everybody, as far as the dignitaries, everybody who we invited for uh, the opening ceremony, we're going to invite to uh, the anniversary day, as well as uh, the Beach Week Beach Festival. Um, Jamie, do you want to say anything about the Week Beach Festival? Sure, two seconds. Okay. <laughs> um, so we had a subcommittee meeting yesterday for the Bicentennial Bash. And um, our subcommittee is kind of coming together nicely. We have a good group. Um, as Al said earlier, we also have uh, Deirdre now, who seems really, really excited to be a part of it, which is always good. Um, starting in March, we'll be meeting bi-monthly instead of monthly. Um, we are very close to selecting all three bands and our MC, so I should be able to announce that in March. Um, we discussed yesterday we're going to create a program with kind of a schedule and timeline for this year. It's something we always want to do and we just can't swing it with the manpower. So um, our 
subcommittee is and going we're gonna, to, we'll pay for it. Um, to take the lead on that. Absolutely. So I'm really excited about that because we try to do a lot and it's really hard to manage um, generally. So I think it's going to really enable us to do a lot more of the games and activities and get the families to come together more than um, we've been able to accomplish in the past. Um, so thank you for that. Um, so our next biggest thing is uh, we've got to find a location to park the whale boat, which will hopefully be ready. So I'll be meeting with Al and Maggie and Jim Flynn, our park supervisor, to figure out where we can feasibly put that. And someone had a great idea yesterday of doing kind of like a photo booth thing with the boat and uh, having like bicentennial type garb. Yeah. So that I think is that so is a fun. great yeah. idea. Um, so we will also be um, um, paying for the photographer. We'll get. Should we, we should yeah. book her. Home. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, she's so great. Do I need three? No. Okay. Uh, the 2020. We'll okay. Do, okay. Two separate photo things. A photo booth. We had her at that last year. Correct. She did such a great job. Yes. Fantastic. So we should book her because she gets right. too popular. Sure. <laughs> okay. She's like our official bicentennial photographer. Yeah. <laughs> she's at everything. Everywhere I go, she's there. <laughs> Um, another idea that came out of the meeting yesterday, which I think is really interesting, um, would be some sort of pickleball contest. We have courts there, we have paddle and tennis that we don't utilize. So I'm going to talk to our instructors and see which one would be better. But I think that could be a really interesting way to bring in kind of one of the things we talked about was this event is very popular with young families, but we want to engage other kind of the, the more of just the adults that, that don't have kids. And pickleball is insanely popular <laughs> right now. Um, we've just started a program in the last year and it's very, very popular. So I think that could be a really fun thing we could do um, maybe right before our headlining band comes in and we close down the Kids Cove and things like that. So we see that kind of transition into an older crowd. So I think that's a really great idea. Um, something else I wanted to throw out there was um, <clears throat> we talked right at the end of the meeting yesterday about um, maybe trying to create some costumes, not just for our event, but for some of the other ones where we could maybe get some volunteers to dress up and um, be in costume for the kids. Um, and Maggie mentioned that she knows how to sew. Oh, and so, that's okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Kate. <laughs> sorry. Um, so that kind of sparked an idea. I was hosting a sewing workshop last night so I talked to our sewing instructor and she would be really excited to be involved. She thought wow. maybe um, we could get some materials and some ideas and maybe we could even host a workshop if we had some people who were willing to volunteer and help and she could lead and help us create some costumes, which I think could be really fun. We could use them at all of the events. Or so um, I have, um, because I do the education at the Historical Society, mm -hmm. all of the volunteers are required to wear skirts and aprons I gave Great, up yeah. on the bonnets, but um, we have a whole rack Great. of them. Great, that's right, yeah. Um, awesome. And they, I can, I'm happy to show you if you want to. Okay. Yeah. Great, that would be a really good start. Yeah, and I have some students that would gladly volunteer on this Awesome. Group. Well, one of the things that we keep bringing up would be to do kind of at the bash would be like a Thaddeus Belt lookalike contest. Right. It'd be kind of fun, but we're going to need some, <laughs> right. some costumes and some volunteers, but it could be, could be a lot of fun. And I know um, like the Selix Woods event, um, Chris would really like to have someone there kind of walking the trails right. and talking to the kids, like like Jamie a soldier Stevens from that up. Yeah, a sort of you know yeah. Thaddeus Bell hanging. Yeah, out anything that you know, is walking, it's, it would be a really people. cool atmosphere to have someone kind of wandering the trails, talking mm -hmm. to people. So I think that's a really good idea too. But we got to come up with some stuff. Um, my last thing. Sorry, I'm moving quickly. Um, on the Selix Wood side, so I've been trying to figure out what we could do to kind of combine and the bicentennial and the Selix Woods event. And Wait, can we do the date of the Selix Woods event? That is Sunday, May seventeenth. What is that? So that was the one. Chris Belmer came and talked to the committee at a, a meeting a while ago. It's it's an event that he traditionally does every year, and Parks and Rec obviously so got involved. Right too, no? Not this year. Oh. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> um, so last year, Parks and Rec got involved, and we helped with the event, which just made sense anyway. It's it's generally led by the friends of Selix Woods, but it's kind of their they call it an annual fundraiser. Last year, it was completely free, 
um, but they they wanted to somehow get involved and celebrate the 200th at the event. So he kind of came and gave the history of the event to the committee. So I've been trying to figure out how in my position I can kind of middleman these two events together. Um, so someone suggested that I talk to At Home Darien because they were doing some sort of scavenger hunt and we thought maybe we could do that there. They are no longer doing the scavenger hunt. However, they sent me the like idea that they got. It's from Simsbury when they celebrated their 350th. Okay. Did you think they were still doing it? I didn't know they were. Okay. They're not. <laughs> I have another idea who can help us. Okay. Out. Great. Um, so I love the concept. Essentially, they did 350 rocks because that was their number. And they it was all about intergenerational um, gatherings. So they had these rocks that the older adults would paint with the kids. And then they hit them all over town and did a scavenger hunt. All over town. Yeah, which is aggressive. I get that. <laughs> however, <laughs> however, um, I thought if we did the rock painting at the Selig's Woods event, which is directly behind the residence at Selig's mm -hmm. Woods, so I think it would be extremely easy to get some interested people to help out. And then um, we could hide the rocks at the bash and yes. do some sort of like prize when they find the rocks or we could ha encourage them to post on social media and tag the bicentennial which could get us some good um like oh, promo yeah, yeah, totally. Totally. so yeah, i don't so find find they the they rock they had had oh they People did too were, yeah i remember seeing that on the so i think the um i thought the town thing was a little uh, uh, intimidating but i think if we maybe just made it yeah. part of the bash and it no, ties the two great. perfectly Absolutely. together that's a great idea yeah. okay Okay, awesome. All right, I'll keep working on that, and you have an we'll idea. We'll talk afterwards. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. So we Shout only got like. Jamie. I think that you do such a good job. I think one of our goals is to bring in different groups and to have like the sewing group yeah. come in, mm -hmm. all yeah. these different constituencies, and now we've got like the Selix Woods and the different intergenerational. I think that's really important to make sure we constantly are bringing in new residents and involving different constituents so everyone can partake. So awesome. Thank I'm excited you, you guys no, like the no, 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 idea. No, 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 no. <laughs> so we only got like 10 more minutes. Um, <laughs> Sarah, uh, merchandise? Um, merchandise is slow, but it's moving. Um, we, thanks to Libby, we have a display at Barrett's. And, and I just want to thank you for that. If, if you haven't seen it, yeah. Yeah, please go to Barrett's. Take them. Um, yeah. It's a yeah. fantastic yeah. exhibit. Yeah. Pardon me? I give them a, a stash yes. of stuff. Yes. And yep. There's yep. an envelope, and yes. Libby and I have a a system of our yellow envelopes where we're <laughs> passing money back and forth. <laughs> um, Green with our yellow envelopes. I actually, um, we sell it at the Historical Society. Um, I've had people emailing me. Um, I actually did um, a giveaway at one of my office things. People love it. They're emailing me all the time. I just, whatever, there's an email. It's a good idea. Darian, Darian 2020, March at Gmail. Is this going to um, make money or is this break even? Uh, no, right no, now, we're going to make most of breaking even. Well, we're only beginning. Yeah. So, I'd like to talk to you about chamber stuff. So um, I've also been asked by the um, senior centers mm -hmm. where I put a small amount of inventory in and they get their envelope. And so we will be making money. Mm -hmm. We can't hit the grocery stores up yet. I was talking to Al. It's um, three to four weeks to schedule it for so that the kids can sit out there and be in winter. We're not taking that chance. Even though we've had no snow. Um, so it'll be out there. Um, some of the students are also going to see if they can actually bring it to some of the sporting events. Oh, wow. Nice. Um, so they're working on it. It's just sort of early. Um, we did get the stickers, so I do have those, which oh, wow. um, are really great. Oh, yeah, you all can have them. Um, those are going to be two bucks a piece or three for five, so they're just out there. Um, I actually had some of my student docents take these and turn them into magnets. Uh -huh. They're a little craft thing, wow. which was interesting because I did not do magnets. We figured we'd try the stickers first. Um, the only other item that we have not ordered that we're talking about, Suzanne and I have been talking about, is doing a an ornament, a brass ornament, mm -hmm. like these. Um, I have the mock-ups. It's plain brass or it's actually in color and they are quite spectacular. Yes. So. I'll show you afterwards. Exactly, because Barrett was actually asking me, you can pass this around, that's oh. the one in blue. Um, oh, that I need approval because oh, it's great. a difference of are we ordering really 200 great. or 500, the cost differential is wow. really double. <laughs> How much do you know we do? 
You don't know how many you would sell It's around $4,000 for 500 And it's, a lot it's of money. not as of interest if it's after the anniversary. Right, it's a timed item, so my feeling <laughs> is true, I'd rather just right. get 250 yeah. Um, and spend two thousand dollars then. Yeah, overdue. Yeah. Um, I think you're right. Because but we want we want to if you approve it, we would like to get that going because we want them at the June event. Yes, mm -hmm. it's yeah. going to be ideal to have it there. Um, and we then they're better off selling going. out. And then they're limited edition. And yeah, and yeah um, so if you approve that, I, approve. Um, I make a motion. <laughs> I the motion. It's there's there's color and yeah. regular. I mean. I think we like the color. color. The, mo the motion is to buy two hundred and fifty for color. How for much? You can ask me for my reading glasses. Really nice. um, Twenty-three hundred dollars. I move for color because I think you can't really tell what the silver yeah. one is. Yeah, it looks like color. color. Yeah. I move for color and the, and the 250. Okay, you said 2300 yeah. And so what would you sell for these? 250 Hadn't quite gotten there. Probably around $20. Right. $20. Like, I don't want to go over. I don't think. How much was the cost? 23 So we'd be losing money on them. I don't know. <coughs> no, that's that's. I mean, we could sell them for more. It's up to Wait, you. They cost twenty. Uh, no, I'm thinking that no, twenty three hundred. I don't know. People spend twenty dollars. So oh yeah, yeah, no, twenty bucks. That's not okay. Yeah, twenty dollars. I don't think. I think everything else is twenty dollars. Everything else is twenty dollars. Okay, so let's let's. Can we do a research question? The Nobu ornaments that they sell at Barrett's. Yeah. They sell for. They're about twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. And do you do a good business at Christmas time? Uh, we do, yeah, we do, we do. I mean, we had to, she brought in some new ones this year, so um, those were good, but we, we've, it's been steady business on those. And how many do you sell? I, I couldn't tell you. I yeah, mean, I, I, I think that we, we sold should, one the other um, day, so. Not uh, be rash. This is a considerable amount of money. I think we should research it a little bit more. Well, I think two before we vote on it today. It today. Would it, like research. Research what? what? Whether we'd sell like it inventory not. and and how much how many you really think you can sell and you don't want to get stuck with them and I, I think we could sell 250 easily. easily. I'll buy four. I don't yeah. think yeah. I don't think that's a lot okay. and I think at twenty dollars it makes it reasonable. Yeah. yeah, I think if you have the birthday bash, the um, birthday yeah. bash especially, you made the merchandise table, and then going here to the bookstore, I would sell a lot. Yeah, so that's roughly nine twenty. So right, right, so 20. Oh, yeah. they are the cost of 20. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 sorry. No, no, That's no. what we would sell, sell them for. They're a cost of 90. I had that same problem. I'm sorry. That's I'm sorry. Yeah. I was trying no to problem it. here. I'm so sorry. No problem. There is a, Lori made a motion. Is there a second for the motion? A yes. second. Thank you. Everybody in favor say aye. 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 Everybody opposed say no. Any abstentions? Okay, it's unanimously Unanimously approved. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They will. Great. Yeah. Sorry, that's fantastic. I'm sorry. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I really like it. Yeah. So, moving along, like we only have five minutes. Um, Susan has something. I am, uh, all I'm going to say is show and tell. Um, this is the cover of the directory. Oh, oh, so. Yay! Yay! And um, this is the ad that we're, we're doing a complimentary ad in the directory. So Jamie oh, in great. Texas made this up for us. Jamie. It's going to be, this is how it printed. It's this size. Okay. So it is going to go in the directory. We sell these for $450. So, um, and we're printing 5,000 copies of the directory. It goes to all residents in the Darien Times, um, to every chamber member at our events <coughs> and um, to town hall. It's here in bulk and we give copies to every real estate firm in the in town that's a chamber member. So um, it'll get nice. I've got to say that people that come to all my open houses because it's just yeah. great. And I'd also like to talk to the group, um, you know, sidewalk sales is going to be July 9, 10, and 11. Oh, we could wow. do um, a booth at, at sidewalk sales, and <coughs> yeah. we um, we could be negotiable on it as long as we have space about the price. Yeah. Okay. Good. Absolutely. It's not terribly expensive, no. but I might no, no, that, charge that does sound, No, absolutely, that sounds good. So nine ten eleven. Nine ten eleven. Yeah. Three days. July. July. <laughs> right. So just let me know where and bring the table and. 
Palmer, the kids. Okay, uh, five minutes. Um, so, so every day direct mail, um, they went out. We had to buy a list which was $500 more uh, to buy the list for the residences. And postage was $1,330. And we already voted on the cost, so um, that's that. I think the uh, second mailing looked great. It was the trifold. That was great. Yeah. Yeah. After it went out, we got in the first week, I think, right, Libby? The first week we got 22. Yeah, Lori has it. That's right. We got 22 individual donations within the first week after it went out. And I think also it may have influenced some sponsors um, because the sponsors are on there and other sponsors saw it. They possibly thought, hey, I want to be a part of this. But within the first week, 22, over 22 uh, individual donations, and we're still getting them. And I think it was a blessing that it was well after the holidays, because it yes. might have just gotten lost in the holiday mail. I feel yeah. like people are like, what's this? You know, so. so we have one more uh, mailing to go out that's budgeted for. Uh, we have to decide uh, when that wants to go out. So we want it you know, before, obviously, the Wee Beach Festival. That should probably go out. I mean, my thought, what do you think, Susan, on the, the next mailing? If the Wheat Beach Festival is early Jewel, June, that should go out early May, so people have time to plan. Or is that too far ahead, mid-May? Or do we want to do for the Heritage Day, too, in September? You don't want people to forget about that either. I feel like that or, we can promote. This. I don't know. I mean, I, yeah, think, I think. I think we really need it for the Beach Festival and Heritage mm -hmm. and uh, the and anniversary day, they're one week apart, so we can double up for those two. Right. Right. So um, it'll be after April vacation. You know, considering the fact that I think that the delivery is a little um, uh, not, Sketchy, reliable, yeah. not as reliable as we would like, I think mm -hmm. to schedule it earlier is right. better. I think it's true. And um, th this is just one component of promotion, promoting right. it. I think we really have to rely and, and get involved with social media and start to yeah, take really advantage of social media and really promote. Yeah, we will. So we're going to have a meeting on that um, next week. I'd be um, happy to join in on that meeting and share with you some of my okay. experience from doing that with the chamber. It is so, it That's really right. makes a difference. Yep. I mean, it makes a difference. So I have a thought on this, just since we're talking about this. So we, we splurged and dealt with the different format because we wanted the envelope in it. So that's why we had to buy a list and do, if we feel that financially we don't need the envelope in to raise more money, because it sounds like we don't want to over raise a great, you know, maybe we would go back to sort of a postcard and then we could assess where we were financially in the fall and say, hey, it looks like we're going to have extra cash. Yeah. Let's do one more EDDM because those idea. are more. I think that is a good idea. They're more yeah, economical. They're easier because we don't have to buy a list, blah, 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 blah. So maybe yeah, we maybe we'll cut back two. On your There's list. like a fun postcard. And then and since we don't have to do as involved a thing. I think that's a good I idea. I think that's good. Yeah. yeah. So we'll look at maybe early May. We can decide on the actual date a little later. But yeah. So if we're, if we're targeting landing in early May, I think we'd be going back to total, right? And so he yes, is right. pretty nailed down. So he's going to want that early April. He, he has like a 30-day okay. cutoff, which I think is because of the vagaries of the post mm. office, which held our last thing hostage for two weeks. But um, Our, our, our but, newsletter um, was dragged <coughs> out, too. Yeah, I mean, you, some of the stuff just disappears. So um, that realizing that it's now mid-February, we're talking, we, we really need to start okay. thinking about that because we want it delivered and done to when them. Is it, when is it hitting the next one? Um, I think we should, let's just look at May. I think we should be whatever the first Monday in May or Tuesday. We want it the first Tuesday in May, right? What's the Tuesday's first date, the and what's the date of the, the event in May? There's no event in The event is yeah, the one June, 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 June for Memorial Day. No, the Salix Woods event. Oh, 17th. Oh, that's a good point. We well, we we're not putting either. We're not going to put that on. Yeah, yeah right. we won't put that on. But it's it's good to have it before that because it's top of mind or whatever. But when is nursery school out? We're we're May or so that's still Memorial Day. So if we shoot for like May fifth, to that's be in the mailbox. To be in the mailbox. Okay. And then if it slides a little bit. 
you know, but that way people can be like, instead of planning to go out of town, they can say, oh, this is happening in a month, let's plan to do X, Okay, so tentatively it'll be like the week of May 5th, when we say that. Yeah, we're shooting for it to land, Monday's the 4th, the 5th, so he's going to want it from us, and we're, be, we're mindful that this is when people are on break, but by like April 6th or 7th, so before okay. everyone leaves for break, we have that plan. Okay, so we just have two more minutes. Thank you so much for uh, Sarah's volunteering to be on the historical marker project, mm -hmm. and that is a <laughs> that is a critical need. I am so happy uh, to have her help out. Thank no you very problem. much. So. Thank you. The other thing that um, is, it, let me uh, just say, we had a meeting on the time capsule. We have another volunteer, Amanda. She's thinking they're thinking the library is spearheading this of having actually not burying it in the ground, but having a one above ground, so that could be held, displayed at town hall. It could be displayed at the library, or it could be displayed like at maybe so the historical better. center. You don't have to worry about vandalism, some kids uh, digging it up, yeah. or forgetting about it, because there is, uh, it may be apocryphal, but maybe I've heard stories here. about there is a, <laughs> a, a time capsule buried somewhere 50 years ago here that people forgot about. Nobody knows where it is. Nobody, yeah. And also you could have like, we wanted to later on in the year to capture everything that's been done throughout this year. Um, we could have like a little ceremony indoors. Um, yeah, maybe. That that's that's a good idea. I like that idea. So is there any other discussions uh, very, very quickly? With that, I, I have one question. Sure. Just a thought, because it was so successful, the opening ceremony and a lot of, there was a lot of FOMO. I don't know if we'd want to do this, but maybe as we go to the time capsule, maybe we would do some sort of a closing ceremony. We don't have to talk about it this time, yeah. but just putting in people's thoughts. That was, that was absolutely, yeah. that was also maybe always Maybe also seeing if there's, you know, the money situation. Absolutely. Yeah, if, if we, we have, have money for money, it, let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. We it <laughs> so, <laughs> the library, we discussed yeah. that, uh, okay. possibly having a, a they have closing some good space ceremony. And, yeah. stuff, so. and maybe not yeah. at the library, but somewhere. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I'll make a motion to adjourn. Anybody in favor? Everybody in favor, say aye. Aye. Ups, uh, no, say nay. <laughs> Any abstentions? So moved. A meeting is adjourned. Thank you very much. Thank you.